that's why I didn't die of scurvy six and a half years ago. Got it. Um, yeah. So that's it. Now, the few things that you're mentioning of like, you know, if somebody wants to be able to get to 150, they need mm. to be eating a species appropriate diet. Um, yeah. How do we know that it's the carnivore diet that is going to be the diet that will allow people to have the most longevity? And I'm not saying the carnivore diet's bad. I mean, yeah. I eat all types, yeah. types of different food personally, but I'm not saying the carnivore diet's bad. But how do we know mm. that this is the diet that will lead people towards that? Primary, and I ask that question because, again, no. we know many people who do different types of diets and no. because they're reasonable, um, they have very high vitality at old sure. age, right? Sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to understand why yeah. and what, I, I, what's I the I think I understand the question. And the response is that there are a, a bunch of people with different ideological standpoints on what they believe the best diet for a human being is. There are people running around saying veganism is the way to go. Okay, they are wrong, unequivocally, but that's for another day. <laughs> there are people running around saying a balanced diet, a mixed macronutrient diet, the standard Western, standard American diet, take out junk food, is the best diet. Junk food is the problem, is what those people will say. There are people saying all you need to do is avoid seed oils. Seed oils will kill you three weeks before last Tuesday. That's what you need to avoid. Everything else is fine. Eat the carbs if you want. They're not the problem. It's the seed oils. Mm. There are people like me running around saying the carnivore diet looks like it's the way to go. Whichever camp you're in, that statement around what is likely to be the ideal diet for a human being is an opinion precisely because of what I said earlier, which is that the evidence, the science, the experimental lab-based work is absent. It does not exist and it never will. It's not practical, you can't do it financially and you can't get ethics to lock people in labs for 40, 50 years. So it's best guess. I believe on the basis of my understanding of science, the scientific process, the way that we garner knowledge that the best evidence, the evidence of what I deem to be the highest quality as a very highly qualified experienced scientist with a significant publication record of my own and a history of teaching at tertiary educations on four different continents over more than a quarter of a century. Where can people check some I, of that out if they want to look at I some absolutely of that? absolutely can. It's a matter of public record. There are, there are all sorts of people claiming that I'm making this shit up, that I never worked in a university, that I don't have three advanced research degrees, that I don't have a publication record. Just go to Google Scholar and enter my name, for goodness sake. It's there. It's public record. It's a fact. So with that history behind me, and that's why I don't bother engaging with those people or, or justifying myself. I have no reason to. My credentials are a fact, whether you like it or not. Whether you like what I'm saying or not, whether you agree with me or not, makes no difference. I have been a professor of health science and a senior lecturer in academia for more than a quarter of a century, and I do have a long list of peer-reviewed publications in the literature that anybody can find if they want to go and have a look. What so if that does qualify me to talk a bit about what I think is good scientific evidence and what is not. And I believe that stable isotope testing nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, et cetera, the studies of the interactions and energetics of our biologic processing system, our metabolic pathways, and a look at the design of our organs and our bodies as a whole are good heart sciences. And those inferences are clear and they are unequivocal. They tell us what seems to be the diet that human beings have unequivocally consumed for at least 350,000 years and probably more like four and a half million, actually. Given that we have no question eaten that diet, almost entirely meat and fat and no plants to speak of up until 10,000 years ago, that suggests that that 350,000 to four and a half million years prior to 10,000 ago 
has informed our genetic structures, our body structures, our organ systems, pretty heavily, given that Darwinian evolution, positive and negative selection pressures is a fact. Pat Project family, the legendary sweet rolls and the tasty pastries are some of the best tasting protein snack <laughs> you will ever find. They're so good. Andrew, where can they go? No lies detected. Head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save 20% off your entire order and Seema's still eating them. So guys, hurry up, head over there right now before he eats them all. That's what I rely on. Now, if people can see the logic behind that, then good. If they can't, then they're welcome to go and support Greg Douchebag. <laughs> you know, that's fine. That's no skin off my nose. And they're also welcome to come and bomb my channel and unlike bomb all my videos, even the ones they haven't watched. And all of those things that absolutely do help my uh, algorithm and help my channel grow. How that's long have we been, from. how long have we been eating uh, cows for? Cows in the current form, as long as current cows have existed, um, you can argue absolutely that current cows are a human invention because of positive selection pressure on cows by humans, yes. I don't think modern cows are hugely different in terms of the meat or the, the fatty acid profiles or the proteins that make up the muscles than more ancient oxen style beasts and oryx and whatever else. Um, there, there is a, a shared lineage also with the, the mastodon, if you like, and the, and the mammoths and, and all of those kind of large ruminant red meat animals. Do you think it matters um, what they eat? Do you think it matters grass fed and stuff like that? I don't really know. I would sooner see someone eat a grass fed, grass finished meat based diet than any diet containing any significant amount of plant material at all, any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Sure, there is a slight difference in the in the fatty acid profile in those in those fats, but I don't think it's critical, personally. Parapatch family, how's it going? Now, sleep is essential for your recovery and your performance, which is why we partnered with Eight Sleep Mattresses. We call them the Tesla of beds. Changes the temperature based off how you sleep. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah, head over to 8sleep.com slash power project. And at checkout, you guys will automatically save $150 off your entire order. Links to them down in the description, as well as the podcast show notes. So Barnum we don't have any evidence one way or the other. That's a guess. That's an educated guess. So, Bart, I'm curious because... Um, Obviously, we have to work with the environment in front of us. And yep. let's say, in your belief, species-appropriate mm -hmm. diet is a carnivorous diet. And yep. um, some people eat different types of diets. Some people do enjoy yep. eating fruit. Some people enjoy eating rice. There are these things, right? So mm -hmm. for the individuals who, let's say, the carnivore diet isn't for them, but they want mm -hmm. to get into better shape. They want to increase their lifespan and health span. Um, yep but they're not choosing to do a carnivore diet. Mm -hmm. What habits would you suggest this individual have so that they can navigate their environment? Because some people just like to eat a few fucking Doritos here and there, even sure. though they're not good yeah. for you, right? What would yeah, you, sure. how, how would you have them navigate their environment so they can still get healthier so they don't have to become obese, et cetera? Yeah. Okay. I have a video, it's a, like a in five minutes or less type video. I've got, a, I've got several of those on my channel where I try and tackle a topic as succinctly as I can in five minutes or less. It's like a challenge for myself. Mm -hmm. And in that video, I outline four health hacks that I believe in fully and that I myself follow as closely as I possibly can in my lifestyle. Because I, I too am a human being and imperfect. I do like to have a drink of beer now and then or a piece of pizza mm -hmm. occasionally or a potato chip, you know. Um, a single potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Just one. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you know, no, um, Make sure you track yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, so there are four health hacks that I believe in fully on that video. And I'd probably add a fifth one if I had longer than five minutes. Here they are in order of importance. Take or leave any one of them. It's up to you. It's an individual choice. It's your life. It's your funeral. Number one of most importance, the one thing that will affect your health and lifespan more than anything else, more readily and more quickly than anything else, is your diet. And I believe carnivore 100% is the answer. I believe plant material should be eliminated from your diet or as, as eliminated as you can achieve. Okay, so that's number one. I, the 
caveat there is muscle meat, not organs. Mm. Two, there is a range of supplements available that I'm joint ventured with. I am an affiliate marketer. They are a range of supplements that are designed to increase your release of adult stem cells from your bone marrow to your blood, whereupon they do magic. You can find information about that on the link under any one of my videos on my channel. It's a bit.ly forward slash B-A-R-T hyphen K-A-Y. That's a one-stop shop. That's merchandise store, the store for this particular supplement that I'm referring to. Consults, if you want to consult with me, it's all there. Peeps, we love bringing you all this fitness information, and we also want to help bring that information to more people. So if you could help us out, hit that rep subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell, and we'll continue to bring you the heat. And I won't whisper in your ear. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.